There was a time when Des Bryant was regarded as one of the NFL's elite wide receivers, and yet here we are in 2020. It's been three seasons since Bryant last played an NFL game, but he doesn't seem ready to call it quits. The former Dallas Cowboys star is keen on playing again, although he is really taking his time on making the decision about a return. Bryant was released by the Cowboys in 2018. He later reportedly rejected a three-year deal worth around $21 million from the Baltimore Ravens. Seeing how big of a star Lamar Jackson is turning into, one can only wonder if Dez regrets that decision. Now, oh, well, too late now. Bryant finally signed with the New Orleans Saints in November of the 2018 season, but he unfortunately suffered a torn Achilles in practice before suiting up for a game. Otherwise, just imagine what he would have done with Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, and Alvin Kamara. Bryant didn't play at all in the 2019 season, but with his body well-rested and fully recovered, one has to think that he can still be an impactful player at just 31 years of age. In fact, San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Kendrick Bourne seemingly wants Bryant to come aboard and join the 2019 NFC Champions. And Dez took notice, by the way. When you look at the potential fits, the 49ers seem like the perfect destination for Bryant. They lost veteran wideout Emmanuel Sanders to the Saints in free agency, and top receiver Debo Samuel suffered a broken foot during a June workout session that required surgery. If Samuel isn't 100%, the 49ers will rely on rookie Brandon Ayuk to be their top receiver. Even if Samuel is back at full health, it doesn't hurt to add a seasoned veteran to a team that nearly won the Super Bowl last year. Jimmy Garoppolo has fared pretty well with superstar Titan and George Kittle, and a good but not great set of receivers. Imagine if he had Bryant to compliment Samuel Kittle and Ayuk. Now we're really talking. Yes, Kyle Shanahan's offense relies heavily on the powerful rushing game. Raheem Mostert and the rest of the backfield will be the focal point for this group in 2020. But there's nothing wrong with adding a big-bodied receiver with some much-needed experience. And really, what would the 49ers have to lose in adding Bryant on a one-year deal worth somewhere around the veteran's minimum? Bryant is obviously waiting it out for the right team and opportunity, and it's hard to think of a better place for him than San Fran. In his last season with the Cowboys, Bryant had 69 receptions for 830 yards and six touchdowns. He may not repeat that production in the 49ers offense, but that's just fine. If Bryant would be a serious threat in the red zone, and he'd at least take some of the pressure off of Kittle and the other young receivers. The 49ers may be the defending NFC champions, but other contenders such as the Philadelphia Eagles, Seattle Seahawks, the Saints, and even the Dallas Cowboys have much better groups of pass catchers. Kittle may be elite, but him there is a lot of question marks and a noticeable lack of depth. The 49ers have a top 10 offense, a top tier offensive line, and one of the league's best defenses. If there is one glaring need, However, it's another playmaking receiver, and Bryant would address that. The 49ers have plenty of young stars, but their window might only be open for so long. Richard Sherman won't be an all-pro much longer, and a looming salary cap crunch could force them to move on from key players. This San Francisco passing game got significantly better when they acquired Sanders from the Denver Broncos ahead of the 2019 trade deadline. That alone should be their motivation to sign Bryant, who surely has enough juice to still make an impact. Take everything into account, and the 49ers are simply the best fit for Bryant. He's the wide receiver this team needs as they try to win their sixth Super Bowl championship. But hey, where do you think Des Bryant should sign if he plays football again? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton, and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.